list of a lifetime. 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 We're excited to see Kelly do this. Definitely. Very excited for the movie. So excited. We love Kelly. We love Sylvia. Big shout out to Sylvia, Kelly, Roxy. You guys are amazing. Roxy, I'm so proud of you. Hi, my name is Roxy Sheehan, the director of List of a Lifetime. It really means everything to have community behind this movie. I think it's very important that we talk about breast cancer awareness. I just really want to thank the community for always supporting me and my voice and seeing me blossom throughout these years. Hopefully I do the representation justice and I just want to say thank you again for just being a part of this journey. Just give you a little bit of background as to why we're doing this screening. Kelly has been a longtime friend of Character Media and myself. And uh, when she mentioned a couple months ago that she's uh, coming out with this movie, I could not help myself but to we say, we're going to do the premiere for you. And so she said, great. And so she connected us with Lifetime, and we were able to uh, do this today. When I was eight years old, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 38. Um, and it was the first time that I realized my mother's mortality. And so my mom is here tonight, you guys. It's all good. She's 83 years old. I think the film reflects the dichotomy of life how you can be so incredibly happy and at the same time so incredibly sad because that's just life. And if you can learn to embrace both and accept both, I think you can live such a fulfilling, rich life. So definitely shooting this film, I went through that and when I watch it, I kind of feel the same way. I really feel like this is about building relationships. Even though, you know, she is my daughter, it's like she's a stranger, right? So it's building this relationship from scratch. I can't tell you how many people have come up to me or have expressed online, oh my gosh, that happened to me and I thought I was only one or I felt exactly that way but I didn't know how to say it but I felt it when I saw it in the movie. So I feel like, um, I think that's the importance of diversity. We really have a responsibility to to tell accurate stories of Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, um, because so much of America um, has never even met an Asian person or had any kind of real relationship with an Asian person in their life. And the only thing that they ever get to see is what's on television. So if, you know, all you see are nerds or, you know, doctors or weak guys to pick on or, you know, women to fantasize about, that's all you're going to think Asian people are. And so it's important for us to get these stories out and humanize people of all races so that people can have that experience even if they don't have it in real life. Yeah. Yes.